Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now, hello parents and toy collectors. It's your good pal Oz and happy Christmas if you're watching this on release day because I know it's going to come out around Christmas day. So happy Christmas. I hope you're having a good Christmas so far. Now, today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Hexbug Nano Nanoplex. I'm pretty sure this is the Nanoplex. The name matches. There's lots of writing on this box, but I'm pretty sure that is this. So the Nanoplex is what we're going to review today. It also includes some of the newer design of Nano Nano, which is I think they call it there we go nano flash so it comes with two nano flash these big fellows here as well as the two smaller original ones and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the set you're gonna watch me as I, I build it at first like I'll do a little bit with it with you so you can see how easy it is to put everything together and if there's any kind of weird complications to be aware of uh, and then at the end once it's all assembled we'll just have a big play and kind of see what it does and check out all its features and what these nano bugs are about and everything like that just to kind of help you if you do want to get it or if you're thinking of getting one or if you just think it's awesome <laughs> you'll be able to see all the details and all the every every little aspect of it so we'll do that now uh, first thing though before we open up we'll check out the box so you've had a good look at the front while I've been rambling away let's look at the back so again it goes through everything that comes inside I'll move this a little bit closer oh there's shadows there we go uh, it comes with uh, that big base a few other things three merry-go it's a roundabouts merry-go-rounds I think they call them merry-go-rounds uh, oh there those things what do they call them? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, obstacles. They <laughs> call them obstacles. Uh, jelly walls. Again, I'll go through the details as we're putting it together. Um, but then it also mentions here, I don't know if you can see that, that you can buy separate sets and they all connect together to make a bigger, bigger, bigger playground for these nanos. So I think we're seeing everything that the box can kind of give us. Let's uh, open it up and uh, check everything out in detail. Now, just while I'm unboxing this, let me just have a quick thank you to the amazing people at Innovation First for sending the uh, Nanoplex for us to review today. Here we are. Okay, so we've got it all out of the box. Now, uh, we also got the little Nanos out of the box. So these are the Nano, what are they called? Flash, I think, the new ones. Maybe called Flash because if you flick the little switch at the back there, like so. Okay, let's do it again. There we go, <laughs> wrong way. Uh, it does flash as well as shake. You can see the batteries inside too. It's just two little cell batteries. Uh, let's put them down and wow, they really <laughs> go. I heard if they fall on their back, they write themselves too. Uh, maybe, maybe eventually. Maybe if they hit something. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll test it when we've got the proper course all set up, but for now, so those are the nano flashes. These are the original nanos, and the only difference I'm aware of is that the uh, length is different. Um, also the flashing on this one, but we'll probably see more differences as we're going. We'll put those aside. Now, uh, here's the instructions, they came with it, and they are pretty good. Whoa, lots of words. They are pretty good, but uh, they are small. So there's a lot of like little finicky stuff for me to do at the beginning. Not too finicky, but you know, you guys don't want to watch that. So I'll do all this hard stuff now and then we'll come back and I'll be able to kind of tell you uh, how to assemble it <laughs> a bit better than me just, you just watching me trying to work it out. So I'll quickly do those hard steps and then we can do the easiest stuff together. Now for assembling this, it's a piece of cake. As long as you don't expect the instructions to tell you step by step how to build it. Kind of like a Lego set does, you know how it's got like step one and then step two. This doesn't do that. There's on the instructions, there'll be pictures on how everything connects together just to use as a guide so that you can, you, you aren't like forcing things the wrong way. Uh, but it's very straightforward. And then once you work out how it connects together, you just follow the picture on the box and before you know it, you're gonna have the completed set. It is very easy. Uh, just don't fall for the trap of trying to follow the instructions like I did the first time. <laughs> so, um, and I'll quickly should go over how everything connects together. So, if you're going, if you're doing like the side rails, which they call jellies, all you gotta do is just push them together. Uh, like they make the triangles match up from the um, connector piece with the track itself called a jelly. So let's slide those in. They're kind of rubbery, so it's very easy. And then for the tracks and kind of most of the other pieces, it's it's very easy. They just kind of slot down on top of each other like a piece of a puzzle. Um, so like if you're using a piece of a track 
and another piece, even if it's a corner piece or another straight piece, you just line them up on top of each other and then push it down until it clicks into place. And then to get it unclicked or unattached, you push it from below and it clicks out again. Now that is all finished and it was very easy to assemble. You can't see it all, but it is there. <laughs> there we go, move it in. But um, yeah, that was very easy to assemble. I probably made it a little bit bigger than I needed to. Maybe I don't need that, but oh well, we'll leave it there now. Um, and there is still a lot of extra parts to kind of make it bigger again. There's a lot more ramp pieces and things like that. So this this is this is this is pretty big, but it can get bigger. There are a lot of leftover pieces. And um, what I'll do, just so we can, because it is big, it's hard to catch it all in one um, on one shot like this. Uh, once we get these started, I will um, I will get the camera and we'll kind of just follow them around and hopefully see the whole set. So. Let us start up one of the, the flashes. Oh, he's on his side. There we go. Whoa, okay. I was not expecting that kind of speed. Uh, now this other one. Where's the switch? There it is. Oh, he's falling over. I'll leave him there, see if he corrects himself. He's really noisy. My apologies if you can't hear me now. That's what you get for being so fast, pal. <laughs> okay, there we go. He did right himself. Now put him there. Oh, he's back down. Okay, so the big ones, the flashes are even faster than... <laughs> okay, this is cool. We have to watch this. So, okay, taking off. Forgive me for the bad camera work. Okay, so the two flashes <laughs> have fallen over like cockroaches. Let's check out. The, the roundabout there is getting used up. It's like, like having little pets. They're just doing their own thing. Except those guys, they're just having like a little fit. <laughs> it's just... Oh, forgive me for the hand. There we go. <laughs> okay, look, he went around the roundabout. It's so fast once they get to that ramp. It's very cool. So that's the roundabout there. So you just hit it and spin around. This guy, very noisy. I'm just gonna, ah. There we go. Oh, he's on his back again. There we are. Okay, now this, oh look, the fighting. This is very exciting. There's so much happening all at once. <laughs> uh, and it's cool how they make their way up. I have, none are doing it right now, but they... It's like watching cockroaches. Lots of like little cockroaches. Some some keep on having spazzes and have lights attached to them. <laughs> but um, that's what they remind me of, their movements. Oh no, another one. These guys are cool. They keep pushing the roundabouts around. They just like have a mind of their own. They just go in random directions. It's cool. It makes you think maybe they do enjoy that um, <laughs> roundabout because they keep going back to it. And these two, they love having like little seizures over there. That's that's their hobby. Oh, here we go. The black guy's up, checking it out. All right, this is very cool. Is he going to make his... Oh, look. Is he doing it? Ah, oh, I was hoping it'd go up on the pipe. There we go. I'm just leaving those big um, flash nano guys to, to sort themselves out. So far, I'm preferring the original ones. I can see why they got two of each, because they act very differently. The big ones just fall on their back and spaz around. The small ones, they, they get business done. They're just going for it. Hey fella. Woo! Roundabout. <laughs> okay, this video is taking a life of its own. Now we're just watching like little robot cockroaches. I want more to get to the top. I'm just gonna lift one of these guys again. Whoa, the speed. Okay, I'm gonna put him there. There we are. Oh, down he goes. So fast. I have seen a few make it up that ramp by themselves. Oh, here we go. Check out that speed. It's crazy how fast they move when they're on a flat surface like that. Whee! <laughs> Around the roundabout. They they find a way to get into everything too. There's no like little piece of equipment which they haven't been on yet. Oh, the roundabout's been pushed. I'm looking forward to um, trying this with like a bigger, more open circuit too, just to see how their craziness works out. But anyway, I, I don't want to stop this, so we'll keep them going. And let me just say, if you want this, make sure you check them out at Toy World at the moment for $45, like I mentioned earlier. Target is, a, oh look, two in the roundabout. Target is a good backup. 
Um, it's always those big guys in that thing. It's weird. It's weird how their behavior is different. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, if you guys like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. If you like hex bugs, if you like nanobots, if you like the nanoplex, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button for that too. Give them a big old nano thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, but guys, I'll put this down here. Uh, until I see you next time, have a great Christmas, take care of yourself, and I will catch you later.